and we magically have a fantabulous product for somebody, for an end user. We have those people that just want to connect with local business owners or they, they like doing business with the city of Miramar and they say, hey, I just want to join. But if you are a city of Miramar um, owner, just like I am for 19 years, the, the city has something for you. And I'll discuss that in a little bit. And here it is. So if you are east or west, there's something for you. It's just amazing how the city has provided just platforms like this, but as well as they make it easy for you. So why not join? Why not get more information? Um, I will also provide you information here. So this is on the top, my information, my email, um, anywhere that you go on the website, miramarpemberpines.org you would find my information or any email goes to me. We are on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Even on YouTube, you'll find different chamber universities with education for professional and leadership development. You will find that there. And again, that infamous um, QR code. So if you wanna put your phone close to there, you'll get information how to join our Facebook group, how to subscribe to our events, just to know what's out there because we do put a lot of the community events of our members of the city of Miramar out there for you. And of course, when you aren't going to sign in, there's a way that you can click on joining with the Miramar incentive. And we prepare that for you in order to give you the education of the things that you have to be as a requirement in order to participate with that incentive. So whatever you need, we are here for you. Um, we're an extension of the city because we collaborate very well together just to help our business community. So thank you. And if there's any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. We appreciate that. Um, next up, uh, we're going to have a small uh, video from one of our partners, and then we're going to go to Abin League. Uh, so give me a second real quick. Are you a business owner or CEO? Is your business a startup, just breaking even, or have the potential to grow, but the burden seems daunting? You are an expert at what you do, whether it's being a chef, doctor, tech developer, or retail shop owner. You might need the extra financial guidance or management support that every great business needs. Every success story starts with someone willing to challenge the status quo and get the help they need when they need it most. Why should your case be any different? Just as a textile mill turned into the largest holding company in America through the help of one man, a small computer company started a movement through music and phones by getting a team to think outside the box, and a startup didn't have the guidance they needed to get funds, but is now the industry leader in overnight stays competing with hotels. Our mission at Equiturn is to help businesses like yours get management and financial support to reach its full potential and more without any of the financial burdens. The Equiturn team is investing in your success by becoming your partner and taking equity for our long-term commitment, expertise, and time. We help you set benchmarks to reach your goals that we only gain from what you do. We call it results-based consulting because at Equiturn, we turn equity into opportunity. So take a moment and imagine what's possible when we become partners. Click the link below for a free business assessment to find out how we can support your growth. Thank you, Abin uh, Reed. Please take it up. Thanks. All right, everyone. Greetings again. Let me share my screen. Can can you see it? Can everyone see my screen? All right. Am I coming through clear? Everyone seeing my screen? 
All right, I think I think I am. All right. Um, hi again, everyone. Uh, my name is Neri Tomlinson. I'm the small business program coordinator here at the Broward County Urban League in the Entrepreneurship Center. Um, just a little bit about the Urban League. Uh, the mission of the Urban League movement is to enable African Americans and others in historically underserved communities to secure economic self reliance, parity, power, and civil rights. Uh, we've been in Broward for 45 years. Um, and we do this, we secure these, um, these things by implementing our, you know, six pillar approach, um, our economics, our entrepreneurship, our jobs, our justice, housing and health pillars. Uh, that's those are six things that we operate by at the Urban League. Um, and as a subsidiary of the Urban League, the Central County Community Development Corporation, uh, in short, the CCCDC, uh, which which houses the Entrepreneurship Center, uh, the mission is to activate community and economic development uh, revitalization efforts in low income communities to transform the physical, social and economic infrastructures for better outcomes for residents and businesses. The CCCDCs primarily primarily serves as a catalyst for this mission through affordable housing and business lending support. Yes, we do offer um, access to capital. A lot of people don't know that about the Entrepreneurship Center. Um, we offer loans and development services to small businesses and entrepreneurs uh, in primarily disadvantaged areas. <clears throat> uh, we've been in Broward since 1993, and we initially focused on housing and community development. In 2015, we actually expanded our profile um, to include small businesses and economic development. And in July 2020, you know, we became a community development financial institution. So in short, we can offer loans to small businesses at very, very attractive rates. A little bit more about the Entrepreneurship Center. Um, the Entrepreneurship Center exists to cultivate opportunities to create and sustain, uh, create, sustain, and grow businesses in the state of Florida particularly in historically disenfranchised communities, um, such as communities of color. Um, the strategic goals of the Entrepreneurship Center um, is one to address the prosperity gaps through small business and economic development. Two, to develop and cultivate collaborative alliances with local, or sorry, with other local statewide and national entrepreneurship resource organizations this is evidenced by um, things such as the pitch competition that I was just on here earlier talking about, um, where we partnered with Spirit Airlines, which is a Miramar-based um, business, um, and they have uh, put up about $40,000 in prize money um, given to the top three contestants of this pitch competition. So it is highly, highly encouraged that everyone um, visit our website to apply for that pitch competition. It's free money out there. It's a grant. Um, and last thing, last goal is to identify a cadre of local professional subject matter experts in the various aspects of small business development to provide technical assistance. Um, the way, <clears throat> the way we the way we achieve this, these strategic goals is through our M3 model. Um, I, I alluded to this earlier. Uh, our, this M3 stands for money, markets, and management. The, the money section is access to capital is key for entrepreneurs to grow, to grow a business. The Small Business Loan Fund partners with government private investors and other nonprofits to connect small minority business owners with financing that generates economic opportunity and stability. Um, these examples include, um, we, we partner with the SBA, we partner with SBDC. Um, we have, uh, 
we have uh, grant programs here, such as the IDA program. It's a it's a savings matching program. Um, we have pitch competitions. We have access uh, to venture capitalists in the in the community. We have a great team here that you know are very very in tune with the small business and entrepreneurial landscape in Broward and Dade counties. So um, we have a lot to offer. Um, <clears throat> the next next section is markets. Uh, we partner with small businesses. Uh, we partner small businesses with major corporations as a path to accelerated growth. So we we're the middleman. We make that connection so the small businesses can grow. Uh, we identify matching programs and partnership opportunities that could help facilitate an expansion into new markets or add their distribution capabilities. Um, services include industry research, planning and forecast, digital technology, procurement, sales projections, marketing, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. And lastly, um, the Entrepreneurship Center provides um, support to the loan recipients in the form of business coaching and technical assistance. And that's primarily the side I work on. Um, we counsel businesses um, to get you know their back office right. Um, the center features <clears throat> entrepreneurship and education and mentorship programs that empower more business owners to create jobs. Um, our focus areas are technical services, coaching, business plan, um, legal, tax, and accounting, uh, capability statements, job retention, uh, and creation uh, operations and successful planning. Um, what we know, <clears throat> what we know about the entrepreneur, the entrepreneurship landscape in South Florida, uh, minority entrepreneurship in Florida is increasing as a response to a low paying job market. Um, <clears throat> most often, minority businesses that are created are not officially legitimate um, and operate under the radar due to lack of knowledge, skill, or even technical abilities. You know, something as small as, you know, uh, creating your LLC or filing business taxes, you know, or even uh, separating your money, business and personal. That's you, you would be surprised at how many people don't do that. And then that comes back to bite them, you know, in the rear end when, you know, they are trying to scale and do and expand their business. Um, last thing, minority entrepreneurs are currently underrepresented compared with their share of the population. Uh, but entrepreneurship within minority groups is on the rise. So the the action of you know, or sorry, the spirit of entrepreneurship is very much alive and well and has been throughout our history. We are a resilient people and we, you know, have that entrepreneurship mindset, you know, but we just don't have, uh, sometimes we don't have the, the information to, to pair with that skill um, to make it to the next level. So that's what us here at Urban League want to, um, that's where we want to fill in the gap. Um, opportunities. <clears throat> We're seeing an increase in the number of clients seeking assistance with the formation and or growth of their business. Um, by assisting minority business with technical assistance, such as business plans, legal accounting and marketing resources, they have a higher probability of being successful and sustainable. Um, here at the Entrepreneurship Center, we uh, there's a number of businesses that businesses that come in to you know help get help with getting certified by the county or certified as a minority business through you know um, the SBA or through the state of Florida or what have you, um, and those are just avenues of you know expansion that you know most small businesses don't um, that most small businesses don't realize, and that's why. You know, we want to get this message out there so that we can help as many small businesses as possible because the resources are there. Um, <clears throat> it's just uh, the we don't have the bandwidth, you know, to 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 reach every single person out there. So that's why we do 
um, events like this to hopefully reach as many as we can um, so we can uh, deliver resources. Um, our clients, our clients, uh, we mainly focus on women and minority business owners, um, low to moderate income individuals earning at or below 80% of their area median income, uh, self-employed persons and businesses with 25 or fewer employees. So here at the Entrepreneurship Center, we offer workshops that come in three uh, different levels of or that cater to three different levels of business. We have our launch stage workshop, which is our business boot camp. Um, so if you have a business idea um, or, you know, your your very early stage business, that means uh, under two years, uh, we have what's called our business boot camp. Um, and this is intended to raise your business acumen. It's a six week program. Um, it's about two hours a week. It's it's free. Um, but this will equip you with um, the know how of you know, marketing, uh, operations planning. It's gonna introduce you to um, the legal aspect of running your business. It's gonna introduce you to um, accounting considerations that you have to um, be cognizant of. Even if you aren't an accountant, you are a small business owner, you are an entrepreneur, so, so <clears throat> you have to, in essence, be a jack of all trades, right? Um, it's better to be a jack of all trades than a master of one. Um, and the next stage is um, so our solution stage. So we have a, a, a program called the UBiz, and I think I have that on extras on the, on the next slide. Uh, we have our UBiz program. It's a mentorship program. Um, it's about six months long, <clears throat> and um, those are that's intended for you know uh, later stage businesses that are looking for counseling, you know, some hand holding, um, or some one on one counseling to help them through you know this business journey. And lastly, our innovation package, uh, we have a workshop, uh, mainly our government contracting workshop. It's for businesses. Um, that are outside of that, you know, startup realm. So they've been doing business for two or three years, and then now they're looking to expand. And one way of expansion is government contracting, because as we know, um, the government spends a lot of money, right? So um, it would be good for, excuse me, entrepreneurs to um, have that avenue opened up to them. Uh, development services. Uh, we offer a multitude of development services. Uh, we offer program orientations, small business roundtables, information sessions, group workshops, um, individual consultations, uh, referral to other business, referral to other business support services, uh, procurement roundtables, uh, business to business matchmaking, uh, networking events, pre loan and post loan counseling. Um, and this is just uh, an example of the networking events that we hold. Uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful building, as you can see behind me. Um, this building has been here for about 10 years now. I think we just celebrated our 10 year anniversary in this building. Um, it's beautiful. Um, as you can see on the left, we have a, uh, that's the outside of the multi-purpose room. Um, that's the outside view. The inside view is to the right. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful space. Um, so, uh, like I was saying, this is our launch package, small business boot camp series. And, um, like I said, it's a six week program modules include a SWOT analysis. So, um, uh, marketing strategies, accounting principles, business financials, uh, how to leverage technology, preparing a business pitch and an introduction to the loan process. Um, and again, the UBIS collab, it's a one on one and small group learning from industry experts. So we hire consultants to work with um, our small businesses. This is our one course that um, has a small fee attached to it. And um, so I would encourage you to reach out, go to our websites, um, ULBC 
fl.org or you can go on the entrepreneurship center's website at cccdc.org um, and contact us uh, or you can email smallbiz at uf uf or sorry ulbcfl.org um, you can email us for more information on that but um, I digress. Uh, this the UBiz collab. It, there's a small fee, you know, um, associated with it, but it is a six month program, and you're going to go through five different um, business disciplines: IT, accounting, marketing, legal, and operations. Um, you 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 rotate through each one of those for six weeks um, for a total of six months. Um, this program is intended to solve business problems and unlock uh, innovation by learning from industry experts. Like I said, we hire, you know, a, a top marketing person. We hire um, uh, legal um, lawyers. We hire uh, CPAs. We hire operations professionals. So we have all of these people um, willing to give you one on one um, servicing, one on one counseling. Uh, for a very, very minimal price, very minimal price. Um, we also offer access to resources, including increased access to capital, uh, business structure review, which is um, particularly what I do, and um, an exclusive exposure to the market, right? So we will expose you to our client base. Um, we also have, you know, worked with um, people that have taken advantage of our servicing. So people that have gone through the business boot camp, that have gone through the UBiz collab, they turn around and end up doing business with the Urban League and its affiliates and anyone in its uh, client circle because, hey, you know, the connection is there. And that's 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 half of business right there. It's just knowing, you know, knowing people. Um uh, moving on, it, it increases li the likelihood of scaling your business and it increases revenues by uh, being hyper focused on business opportunities. And lastly, uh, the GovCon track. Um, this is a comprehensive, so the topics covered, it's comprehensive background on government contracting. Um, this identifies obstacles. Um, in the government contracting and bidding process, so what impedes the process? Um, we also we also um, go over researching how to research for bids. Um, build we during the four week class we build a um, a proposal outline uh, and we write the final proposal. <clears throat> so this class is it, it's pretty it's pretty intense. Like it's not for um the faint of heart it's uh, there is homework involved i know you know <laughs> once we get out of once we get out of school there's you know homework is, is the last thing on our minds but you know for those entrepreneurs out there that are willing to put in the work um we have we have it here for them um and it's a great program um, uh, many people have been um, enriched by going through this program and uh, us here at the urban league you know, and the Entrepreneurship Center um, just continue to invite people to take advantage of this. And also you learn how to package and submit a proposal. And about our loans. Um, yes, we do offer loans because we are a community development financial institution. So um, being a CDFI, it it allows us to be more flexible on credit requirements because you, you know, the CDFI designation allows us to um, do more things to uh, to affect change in small businesses, in um, underserved neighborhoods. Uh, we pay more attention to the character of the business owners than, you know, hey, if you need a loan, okay, what's your credit? Your credit isn't, isn't good, so hey, deny. No, we don't do that. Uh, we take a deep look into, you know, your financials. Uh, we first of all, we make sure that your financials are on point. Well, I make sure that your financials are on point before you head over to the loan side. That's part of the business counseling that I do or that we do here at the Urban League. Um, we work closely with borrowers and provide technical help and advice. 
and we understand the conditions in the local community um, and how they may affect your business. Me personally, I am from Miramar. I've grown up in Miramar. I've lived there, you know, for 30 odd years. So um, I, I, I think I have a really good understanding of the local community. So I encourage, you know, uh, business owners to please reach out to the Entrepreneurship Center at the Urban League. Um, eligible businesses. Um, uh, you have to be a United States citizen. You have to be at least 18 years or older um, and in business for a minimum of 12 months. Um, so uh, the, a common misconception is that, you know, uh, we fund startups. Startups, um, your business is considered a startup pretty much within three years, right? So um, we, we don't fund ideas, but we do fund startup stage companies. So um, in that, you know, 12 month, 12 to 18 month time period, um, that's uh, beginning the time where you can um, uh, be looked at favorably for some funding, depending on um, your back office and how that looks. Um, be in good standing, uh, or in full compliance with your federal, state, and local taxes. Uh, we're located, you're, you're located in Florida. You're a private corporation, a partnership, or, or a sole proprietorship. Um, so that means we're excluding, we're excluding um, nonprofits. Uh, so, and you have an annual gross revenue of $5 million or less per year for the last two years. Um, so other loan features, businesses must be in Florida, specific emphasis on the tri-county area. Uh, loan amounts generally range from 10000 to, to 250000 uh, The terms are flexible. Uh, the range is from three to seven years. Um, interest rates dep vary depend on uh, market rates, risk, and loan terms. Um, interest is fixed at the time your loan is provided and, and will not be adjusted during the term of the loan. Uh, in most instances, collateral will be limited to a blanket lien of the assets of the business. However, exceptions may be made for higher credit risks or larger loans. Um, I would say the um, average um, interest rate on these loans, uh, depending on um, depending on the loan product, it can be anywhere from three to nine percent. So um, that that's a pretty good deal. Um, and uh, the businesses will be responsible for all loan closing expenses, including application fees, origination fees, legal fees, UCC filings, and other court costs. Um, what we don't fund, we don't fund personal expenses. Um, we don't fund real estate investments, although we do fund real estate companies, so or real estate um, related companies, so property management, um, let's say, uh, uh, real estate um yeah well property management no real estate investment um so uh, but we fund things around the real estate um in the real estate sphere uh businesses principally involved in the sale of alcohol or tobacco or businesses sexual in nature um what we look for a business owner who knows their business and can run it well and is willing to work hard and make it succeed a business that is financially sound or appears to have the ability to make enough money to pay its bills, give its owner income and pay back the loan. Um, we look for an investment from our business owners. So we need some skin in the game um, uh, from the business owners. Usually the business owners own money that gets put into the business to pay for some things that it needs and collateral to cover at least part of the lending risk. Um, so the small business <clears throat> loan fund that provides access to capital, ability to create jobs, uh, business opportunities, economic diversity, business expansion, and wealth creation. Um, and this is a, a listing of certain funds that we have, uh, the small business loan fund in all, it's from 10K to 250,000, the diverse capital dream fund, 15K to 150,000. So these are, you know, some of the products that we offer here. And um, about some free money, uh, we have the uh, individual development account. It's our savings matching program. So for businesses, you um, save, it's a, it's a four to one 
um, savings matching. So you put in, you know, uh, 1000 and then we match you with 4000. So at the end, you'll come out with 5000 worth of capital um, to expand your business. And um, so what we want you to think about is, you know, how to in, in regards to getting these loans and getting money, even if it's not here, but it's, you know, other places, think like a lender. If it was your money going to support someone else's dream, how or what would you want to know? You'd want to know, do they have the ability to pay it back? How much money did they make last year? You know, things like that. So um, we need businesses to understand that we're not just writing blank checks, right? That we need to do our due diligence because at the end of the day, we have to maintain this fund in order to be a resource for everyone else in the community. Um, we can't run it frivolously. Um, we can't. We have to keep an eye on everything. Um, good preparation is key. You should be able to answer almost any question about your uh, well, any question that your lender asks. You must know your business plan and financial data. You must have a business plan. Um, you wouldn't believe how many people come to me every day asking for a loan and they don't have a business plan. They haven't filed their taxes for last year. You know, um, if you're in the market for money, um, your, your paperwork better be on point. Um, never rely on someone else to speak for you. Um, full disclosure is required, addresses any situation in your business that may appear to be weakness, be a weakness before the lender raises it. Um, make sure that you have a good story to tell about your business um, and then tell it with enthusiasm. Because if you're not, um, if you're not excited about your business, then how do you expect anyone else to be, you know? Um, so this is a little bit, bit more about the IDA program, which I went through. And lastly, please just contact us, you know, um, go on uh, cccdcorp.org um, for more information or, and then you can click, as you can see on the PowerPoint slide, you can click the top right hand corner, contact us, and it'll send us an email. Um, so this is just a little bit more about, you know, the process after you, um, after I speak with you, but I'll go over it all with you in our breakout session. I don't want to take much more of your time. Um, so again, please, for technical and loan assistance, please call 954-584-0777 or go to our website, uh, which is, uh, yeah, miss uh, a typo right there. So it's cccbcorp.org. Thank you. Um, and that is all I have, please. Um, come in our breakout room um, after this and um, if you want any more information. Thank you. Does anyone have Thank any questions? Thank you very much. Uh, um, no problem. I will send you the questions that, are, that will come in the chat and also that will be sent over to us, okay? All right. Thank you. Most definitely. Um, now, we're going to go to a short commercial break, that I like to call it, um, and then after that, we'll go to Miami-Dade uh, session, um, so bear with me. Consolidated Credit is one of the nation's largest and oldest nonprofit credit counseling agencies. We've provided free credit counseling to over 10 million people, and we've consolidated over $9 billion of debt for our clients. Our mission is to help people end financial crisis through counseling and education. We work with community partners, private companies, and other nonprofit organizations to bring education and resources to people of all ages and backgrounds. 
Our certified financial coaches conduct over 300 hours of education events each year. We host a virtual library with publications that cover over 45 key financial topics, from dealing with debt collectors to buying a home, and a video library with over 30 financial education videos that cover essential topics like budgeting, saving, and building credit. We also have an interactive financial literacy course that covers over 20 topics for adults and four topics for teens. We take pride in helping our clients get out of credit card debt and learn how to live financially healthy lives. The results speak for themselves. In Miramar, anything is possible. Miramar is a young, dynamic city right in the heart of South Florida. Known as the center of everything, Miramar is easy on the commute because it is ideally positioned between Miami-Dade and Palm Beach counties. Florida's Turnpike, I-75, and I-95 are minutes away, providing quick access to all of South Florida. The city has national and international connectivity, offering 30-minute access to two major airports and two ports of call, a gateway to the Caribbean and Latin America. A culturally diverse community that's just the right size, Miramar is away from the frantic pace of the big city, but close enough to enjoy plenty of activities. The city's transportation hub makes it easy to get around and gets even better with the new Miramar Express bus park and ride facility, which will include some 500 parking spaces and offers residents a convenient and comfortable alternative to commute to employment hubs in downtown Miami. The city has experienced explosive growth with 140,000 residents and is the 13th largest city in Florida with a median age of 35. There is a home in Miramar for everyone. From brand new mixed use apartment or condo complexes filled with amenities to landscape gated communities, including Tuscan Isles by Lennar, Altice, Miramar Station, and Catalina at Miramar. Miramar is the perfect backdrop to work, play, and grow with a thriving arts scene, beautiful parks, and events catering to the young and young at heart. The city offers many services, like child and adult daycare and senior services, to ensure work life balance. Miramar is home to A-rated public schools, accredited universities, and colleges. Miramar Town Center features a mixed-use environment that comes to life with entertainment, homes, an 800-seat cultural arts theater, restaurants offering multicultural cuisine, and a health and fitness center. Being developed by internationally renowned related group, Town Center's final development phase, Manor at Miramar, will soon be under construction, which will bring residences and shops to the city's bustling downtown project. The city will soon welcome a true Hilton Hotel, the 8th Hotel in Miramar. An additional hotel is planned in the Miramar Park of Commerce, the largest locally owned and managed business park that is the crown jewel of the South Florida corporate landscape. New upcoming shopping centers like Miramar Park Place, Monarch Town Center, and The Grove will add to the variety of retail shops available for your shopping pleasure. Miramar has a spotlight on sports. The Anson Sports Complex features a certified Olympic track with a soccer field. The city boasts 40 parks featuring two aquatic complexes, plus multiple soccer, tennis, and basketball facilities. Miramar Regional Park features a 5,000-seat amphitheater that hosts concerts and events at its iconic structure, as well as six soccer fields. With a diverse and educated workforce, Miramar is home to many Fortune 100 and 500 companies. Miramar has been a key player in the county's growth with $323 million in capital investment in the last five years. And growth continues. In historic Miramar, the new police substation is opening soon, and plans are underway to build an innovation center that creates a hub for job training and affordable housing right in the heart of historic Miramar. Miramar knows how to roll out the red carpet for businesses, offering a wide range of benefits and services. United Data Technologies now calls Miramar home, and Southern Glazer's Wine and Spirits is expanding. The city boasts state-of-the-art water treatment plants and wastewater plant reclamation facility, as well as award-winning fire and police departments. It's easy to see why so many have made the choice to call Miramar home. It's a place for everyone. Whatever you're looking for, it's right here in the beautiful city of Miramar. Are you a business owner or CEO? Is your business a startup, just breaking even, or have the potential to grow but the burden seems daunting? You are an expert at what you do, whether it's being a chef, doctor, tech developer, or retail shop owner. You might need the extra financial guidance or management support that every great business needs. Every success story starts with someone willing to challenge the status quo and get the help they need when they need it most. 
Why should your case be any different? Just as a textile mill turned into the largest holding company in America through the help of one man, a small computer company started a movement through music and phones by getting a team to think outside the box, and a startup didn't have the guidance they needed to get funds, but is now the industry leader in overnight stays competing with hotels. Our mission at Equiturn is to help businesses like yours get management and financial support to reach its full potential and more, without any of the financial burdens. The Equiturn team is investing in your success by becoming your partner and taking equity for our long-term commitment, expertise, and time. We help you set benchmarks to reach your goals that we only gain from when you do. We call it results-based consulting, because at Equiturn, we turn equity into opportunity. So take a moment and imagine what's possible when we become partners. Click the link below for a free business assessment to find out how we can support your growth. Thank you very much. Um, don't forget that our booths are still open. And um, at the same time, if you want to talk to anybody, uh, any of our partners, do visit their booths, do connect with them. Uh, the chat is still open. The giveaways are also still open. Uh, next, up, next up, we have Miami-Dade uh, uh, School Board. Um, take it away, please. Mute the mute button. <laughs> now, um, don't and don't forget to unmute um, when you get an ah, opportunity. Yes. Ah, yes. Thank you. For the technical <laughs> glitch there. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, and um, what it is, Paul. Thank you for the support um, and giving us the opportunity to actually. Um, disseminate to the attendees the information relating to Miami-Dade County Public Schools and also um, the benefits of certification which my colleague and friend Mr. George Wright is going to be speaking about. Um, first of all, my name is Junior Anderson. I'm the District Director in the Office of Economic Opportunity. I am responsible for the outreach section and we try to educate people um, and vendors and small businesses in relation to how to do business with Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Um, the department, of which, which I'm a part, for, a part of, is actually we advocate for the uh, small businesses and we want to help minority women-owned businesses to do business with the school board. So we have different programs. Um, we've got the supply development program, um, the uh, what we call the mentor protege program, and we also as we say, you can't do any of these programs without being certified. And um, that's what my colleague, Mr. Wright, is going to talk about um, as we go on in the, through the presentation. So, first of all, um, what I'd like to say is that we are going to go through how to do business with Miami-Dade County Public Schools, doing business with us. Who are we? Who are Miami-Dade County Public Schools? Well, we're the fourth largest school district in the United States, A-rated. Um, we've got approximately 400 locations um, and 345 students and over 40,000 employees. And this covers a wide breadth of, um, of land, right? Square footage of land, right? Over 2,000 square miles. Um, now, Procurement always wants to seek to buy goods and services. So you can imagine that we buy everything. Anything you can think of, right? Because we're a school board, we buy everything. And with the different schools and administrative locations, anything you can think of, we buy, all right? And we spend in procurement alone, roughly every year, um, roughly about $500 million per year. That's half a billion. All right, so um, really and truly, we are always looking 
for different services. And we want the school, we want the small business to be a part of that. All right. And um, we're also, I want to make sure, because we're speaking to um, the constituents of Miramar and Broward, um, I want to, to make, make to, I want to reinforce, which George is going to talk about as well later on, the fact that we do business, we certify people from Broward and Palm Beach as part of the tri-county area. So there's um, there's been some people who have, have been sort of like given some misinformation that we don't certify people in, in Broward or um, Palm Beach, but we do. It's not just in Miami-Dade County, all right? Now, when we do business and we look, look to seek to get um, to do business with different um, entities, um, there are three different ways in which we do it. Well, we do what we call the RFQs, requests for quotes. We need three quotes for those uh, those things that we're looking for uh, products and services between a thousand and forty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. So really, just under fifty grand. So we normally look for three quotes. All right, and whoever gives us the lowest quote is the one that is wins. Okay, and um, based upon policy, normally, if there's a, a minority owned business that um, it can provide that product it should be one of those one one of those quotes should be uh, a minority woman-owned enterprise business if possible um, that's if there is any that does that um, now our big spenders are also its maintenance transportation and food as well the food department there are big spenders the other way that we actually look to um to, to, to send out uh, solicitations and quotes is through what we call the, the official solicitation um, uh, route, which is basically what we call invitation to bids, request for proposals, and ITNs. These are for things that are 50,000 plus. These are items that are 50,000 plus, the value of that. These items have to go to the board. Um, the school board, and it's um, it's a long process. It can be a it can be like a it can take up to two months the process. All right, from release of the solicitation to um, it being awarded to a vendor, and th like I said, this is for value amount of fifty thousand plus. And with this, they have what they call um, you have to do what we call a pre bid conference, um, the the um, where the actual uh, department is there that wants the service or product and um, you can find out about it when the uh, solicitation is released or the bid is released and you can ask as many questions as you want during that pre-bid conference all right then once the uh, your, your bid is submitted then what occurs then it will be awarded it will go to the school board and will be awarded to that vendor all right and like I said it's through that RFP an ITB process. Now, how do you find out about bids and how do you look at opportunities that are coming up? You go to the procurement.dadeschools.net website. That's procurement.dadeschools.net website. You go on that website, you can look at, you can see all the upcoming opportunities that are be coming up within the next few months. And it's very, very fluid, all right? It will change. Um, also, you can go on Demand Star, for those of you that know about that. Go on Demand Star, and you can also see bids that have been released there also. But I say relating to upcoming opportunities, it's good to just look on um, things that are coming up um, in the future as well. So you can get prepared for it, all right? Before we start with um, George talking about certification, I just want to say to you that, please, if you do um, bid with the school board and make, decide that you want to bid on certain items, what you must always do if you don't win the bid you can always get a debriefing, um, request a debriefing as to the re what happened, why we didn't get it. You can also um, go do a PRR, a public records request with our citizens' information to find out, um, you know, 
how it looked, how our bid looked, where I was, where where was I placed, was I the, the second best bidder, the third, fourth. These are things that you need to do, and this is the way this is where you learn as well. All right. Now, without much further ado, I'm going to introduce you to my friend and colleague, Mr. George Wright, that will talk about certification. George. I think, I think you have to unmute, George. Well, let's try this again. Good yeah, afternoon. right. That's what happened to me. <laughs> Thank, you. Uh, thank you, Junior. Thank you to the City of Miramar and Paul for uh, hosting this event and allowing us to speak to the attendees about the certification program with MDCPS. So to get it started, uh, what is our certification program? Uh, Miami-Dade County Public Schools, we certify small and micro-owned businesses as well as veteran businesses and minor, um, minority owned businesses. We, uh, for example, when I say minority owned businesses, just two examples, Hispanic Americans and uh, African Americans. Those are some of our subgroups. Um, how do you get certified with Miami-Dade County Public Schools? Let's start there. You must have a business that is independently owned and operated. That's one of the major requirements. You must have a business within the metropolitan statistical area. What that means is your business must be located in Miami-Dade, Broward, or Palm Beach County. Um, a lot of sometimes we get a question about, well, what if I work from home? That's fine. Um, you would just have to give yourself permission to operate from that location. So as long as you have a physical location in Miami-Dade, Broward, or Palm Beach County, um, you would meet that requirement. You must be in business for one full year. We ask um, the, to verify how would you be in business for one full year. We'll go on your Sundays see if you have an active account and we'll go by that date that you were established. Um, another thing with the, the one full year, um, we do check uh, business taxes. We do check your taxes, tax returns. So we will check to see, hey, if you've been in business for three years, we're gonna require um, you to submit your taxes for the past three years. If you've been in business for one year, we're gonna require you to submit that full year of uh, tax returns. Another a few more requirements, uh, employee 200 or fewer in permanent employees, 51% uh, controlled and owned, and uh, you have a net worth of $5 million or less. So the $5 million or less requirement is uh, for our MWBE program. We do have a gross receipt uh, limits for our SBE and MBE program. But, you know, if you're interested in being coming certified with us, that's something that we can discuss, you know, on a more personal, on a more personal level. Uh, if you can move to the next slide, Junior, the benefits. This is the part that everyone likes to speak about. Why would I become a certified vendor with Miami-Dade County Public Schools? Uh, for one, we have our first tier referrals to other departments. What that means is if a principal were to call me or call someone in our office and say, I want to partner with a minority firm to supply, um, you know, DJ services for our upcoming prom. What we would do is we would go into our directory, we would see which firms we have that could provide that service, and we would directly give that information to our principals. And then they would then uh, contact you so that they could you know, solicit a quote from you to be able to provide that service to the school. That's one benefit. Another benefit that we have is our point system and our sheltered market opportunities. We have what's called a goal setting process. And what that means is one of our uh, major purchases is our procurement department. They will send out certain um, uh, jobs as well as capital. They will send out certain jobs and um, uh, maintenance, for example, they will send out certain projects. When that happens in the goal setting process, we will determine if we can shelter that, um, that particular uh, bid. And if the sheltered only certified firms can bid on that particular project. So you as a certified firm won't have to worry about competing with some of the bigger players. You can just compete against other firms that are locally certified with you. We also put points on certain projects. What that would mean is in our evaluation process, if you were to score at a 40 and the next player was gonna score at a 40, if you're certified and they're not, and the goal was 10 points, then you would score at a 50, they would score at a 40, essentially moving you forward and ahead of them in that bidding process. So those are just some of the examples of the benefits of becoming certified. Um, it is a great program. All right, 
So basically, as George said, you know, there is really um, three easy steps here, you know, to get certified. And like I say, it's it's so easy that um, basically these people, and I'll, I'll say in front of George right now, they you they actually go through you. They 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 hold your hand. They guide you through the whole process. So there should be no excuse about not understanding or whatever, because um, George and his colleague Eric Bryant they call people call people um when there's opportunities they let people know there's opportunities in, in that area but they, we won't know uh, we won't know to call you unless you get certified in that as a small business and where you could get those benefits that are there regarding points etc so um please please contact us visit us at our booth um after this presentation or during the whole time that you're here please visit us and we will give you the information because we want to get as many people certified as possible. All right. Next thing is, now you can't get certified with the school board unless you become a registered vendor with us. And um, that we that's done through the procurement department. Now you can, you can contact um, the certification team and they will um, guide you and and refer you over to the procurement department so that and then when you get um get your documentation from procurement regarding being registered as a vendor then the green light is there for you to start getting certified all right so basically what you will need um to get registered as a vendor with us is a copy of your w9 or fein number federal um, income tax number um local business tax receipt um, and if you're a non-profit, a copy of your 501C. There's also um, an active registration. You've got to be actively registered on Sundays, which is the um, is this, this Florida state um, for those who are incorporated, business incorporated in the state of Florida. So please, you've got to make sure that you're up to date uh, with Sundays, that you're recorded on there as being active. All right. I've seen it in the past where people think their business is still active and it's no longer active on Sunbiz. So you've got to make sure that's the case. All right. Um, this is our team, um, the head of um, the OEO, Office of Economic Opportunity Team. The head of our team is Miss Jennifer Andreo. Um, she's the head of the department. She's the Assistant Superintendent of Equity and Diversity. Um, there's also um, George, who's the director of certification, George Wright, um, and he's there with um, also his team, which is Eric Bryant and now Herman or John Zales. Um, there's myself, of course, uh, Junior Anderson and my team um, with um, Eileen Neary and um, Romeo Romulus and uh, Miss Michelle Hicks-Levy and her team, which is Christine Howard, um, um, and also Ms. Denise Mincy Mills, uh, who's the compliance um, um, head, and her team of Michael Scott, Ed Stokes, um, and Vaughan Johnson, and and um, yeah, and Jeanette Garcia. Um, so basically, that's our team, um, different areas, and what we do. The common goal, common objective, is to. Uh, help small businesses in as much as we can. We're the advocates within the school board for for you. All right. So, um, like I said, we've got some other programs. We've got a booth, and we really, really want you to come and visit us. You can find out about our various programs that we have. Certification being number one, of course, and also the supply development program, which we have also, which we do um, quarterly. Um, and it's um, we teach people how to do business with the school board. We even look at um, try and tell them how to do bids and give them advice about marketing, finances, and we with our partners too. We invite some of our partners that have the resources also to help small businesses. So that's one of the things that we do. We've also got a mentor with Prodigy program that I mentioned before, and uh, that's it really. So please, please visit our booth. And even if you don't get the chance to, please connect with us. All right? All right. Thank you very much. Do you want to say anything else, George? Before we leave? 
No, thank you again, uh, City of Miramar, for the opportunity to present to your attendees, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, thank you, the City of Miramar. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, George, and thank you, Junior. We really appreciate you every time we partner up. Um, until next time, um, this concludes the session. Uh, please do visit all our partners uh, within their booths, um, and then the recordings will be online on the, um, if you're watching us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, um, join uh, bizfit.live uh, and you'll find all the resources and also you'll find the recording. If you're on uh, bizfit.live watching us streaming, I believe right now we're looking at 35 people who are still on, uh, please make sure that you visit the booths. And, um, and yeah, uh, if you have any questions, put it on the chat, send it to me, and let's get this event going. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you.